Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about how you can adjust your power levels from your Ruida controller. Sometimes when you're trying to dial in some settings for a particular material, it can be real frustrating changing it in your file, sending it to the laser, running it, it doesn't work, go back to the computer, change the file, run it to the uh, laser, run it again, it still doesn't work. It takes up a huge amount of time. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually adjust your power levels on your controller on the fly. So you don't even have to go back to your, to your file. And then once you've got it dialed in, you can change your file uh, settings and away you go. Uh, the example I'm going to use today is Leatherette. Leatherette's a great product if you can get it dialed in. Um, it's got a very narrow power band where it works. And so this is a perfect example of kind of where you can start and it doesn't work and you, in a very short amount of time you can get your power levels dialed in uh, and away you go. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is our layout. This is a, a black leatherette uh, name badge and I've turned it 90 degrees and what I've done is I've uh, just uh, offset to the inside and I've put in a mode of fill and the starting speed and power that we're going to use is 500 inches per second at 20% power. And that basically was a recommendation for leather. So I know it's not going to be exact, but it, at least we'll get uh, some place to start. Um, if you preview this, you're going to see that it's going to fill in that blue area. Uh, and the idea is that the... Um, Laser is going to go back and forth here, and based on what we see, we will adjust the power either up or down uh, to get the desired result. And the, the goal here is that by the time we get done with this little three inch name badge, that we will have the settings that we need for this particular leatherette. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send this file to the laser and I'll show you how to go ahead and adjust the settings, primarily power on the fly. One thing that I will tell you, most of the time I don't mess with the speed. I will, I will play with the power, either up or down, depending on what I see. You really can't adjust your speed and your power or you'll, you'll be chasing your tail. Um, you're just not going to be able to dial it in. So leave your speed alone and either go up in your power or down in your power. Uh, to get yourself dialed in. All right, let's go ahead and go to the laser and check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is load the file. We're going to press File, and the very top one is our oval. We're going to say Enter, and you can see your speed and power should show up here. It's 500 inches per second, 20% power, and we're going to go ahead and press the Start button and see uh, what we're going to do is we're going to let that laser run just a little bit and then stop it and see what it looks like. I'm gonna stop it. It's way too hot, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that down. Uh, a, a little bit too much power. So what we're going to do now is, you don't have to pause it, but because we don't have a lot of real estate on this, um, I want to stop it. And then what we're going to do, so we've hit pause, then we're going to go to max power, and we're going to use our arrow keys to drop this down just a little bit. So now we're at 19%, or excuse me, 19.5% power, and I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to hit start. hot. Now it's running, even though it shows 20 here, if you look at the max power, it's at 19.5. Okay, 
Okay, that's still too hot. Press pause. Skip out of that. Press pause. Max power. Let's drop that down. To 18. Enter. Start. Still too much power, so we're going to hit pause, max power, enter, start, now you're starting to see the silver. Stop. Let's drop it down a little bit more. So max power. Come down to 17. Enter. Start. There, you're really starting to see the silver show up now. We're still going to have to clean this to get uh, the desired effect, but you can see that uh, the silver is showing up pretty good. Let's drop it down a little bit more. Sixteen five, enter, start. That's really looking good. By the time we clean that up, uh, it really should shine through. I can also, just while it's going, I can come over here and I can uh, adjust this on the fly. I don't have to uh, pause it. I can come down here to zero, hit enter, and it will automatically adjust as the laser's going. I use this a lot when I'm doing pictures to kind of dial in my power, and it's a great feature. Let's try 16% just for fun. Okay, I'm going to pause that. We're going to go down to 15.5 max power. 15.5. Enter. Start. I'm going to stop that, escape out of that. Put a little uh, LA Awesome on there. Actually, it looks like it's going to engrave to gold instead of silver. My apologies. But there you go. You can see that we were way too dark. It, you can feel the leather. It's chewed up. Way too much power at 20%. We went down to 19 and a half, 18 and a half, 17 and a half, 16 and a half. Now we're getting in the ballpark. And it looks like from 16 and a half down to 15 and a half, um, once I really, you know, uh, scrub it up good, um, we've found our sweet spot it is anywhere from 16 to 15 and a half percent power at 500 inches per second so you can see by adjusting your uh, power on the fly at your controller you save a ton of time and so I hope this was helpful as always please like and subscribe you guys have a great day